Hey, what's up everyone? How are you all doing today? Welcome to episode 24 of our Let's Play series of Adeptus Mechanicus with a Heretic DLC. Had another slightly long one last episode. We had the, uh, the three diamond encounters, but we didn't do too bad considering. Got ourselves a nice bit of blackstone. So let's go in and see if we can get Talfair upgraded just a little bit more. We did remember to put the axe on him at the end of the last one. What's this last perk here? Wants to about to revive the Tech Priest at the beginning of its next turn with 10 HP. Yep, that's a good shout. Because he's going to be... We're going to be trying to run him down with his HP. So he gets the crit bonus. So that's giving him an extra augment slot. I'd like to get a better axe on him, really. So that's 3 to 5. 4 to 6. 4 to 6. Yeah, let's do our that. The only one we can do is that's got three augment slots on it. Okay, so how much for the next one? 354. I don't know, let's just have a little look, see what we've got with the other guys. Okay, so he's okay, we could maybe give him the upgraded energy or enhancer, but then we'd have to spend to use it. There's Minarius here. Can maybe give him a better one of those mechadendrites, I think. So he's got the power field generator. Let's just check the others first. We'll make sure there's not someone that we can benefit a bit better from something. I might actually just do it to town field again. Yeah, I want to get my trousers. So what can we go for? I think I might go for another cleanse. Because we've needed to use quite a few of them. So having a third guard with the cleanse ability would be quite handy. So let's get those trousers on. 20% crit chance, extra 2 movement. Yeah, that's pretty good. See what's a slow old fall. Now we could technically do another upgrade. Um, can we do that to Minarius? 429, Yeah, we can. So I would quite like to get that slightly better in Infestus Mechandendrite in there. Let's just grab that. Not necessarily to use it just yet. So is that one we're going to take out? Is that one we can put in? Two slots. Yeah, two slots. Just, let's have a look at these chest pieces. So I've got one that gives just straight up 4 HP. That's 3 HP and 1 physical. We're already on 18. If we drop one more, that's 17. I don't know if I want to risk that. Now I'm going to stick with that. Okay, where do we go? So we haven't got a heretic one available. I think I'm definitely going to, I'm not even going to see what Kepra's got for us today. I'm going to do one of these ones and get rid of it. Let's just do this one. It's been loitering around for ages. Let's get it gone. We've got a new level 3 Vanguard. So he's got an extra 2 damage, extra 3 movement, and extra 10% critical strike chance. That's pretty cool. Team of Agrilac. Okay, so I imagine because this is an older mission, we're only going to have two diamond encounters. Yeah, just the two. Go straight up here and, and along into them. Possibly a bit of backtracking, so we've got two optional ones as well. 
so we've got plenty of opportunity to bring our awakening back down if we need to. The cohort enters a chamber with several sculptures arranged on shelving around the walls. They appear to be replicas of a trapezoidal artifact rendered in various materials. Search. Check the room for traps or hidden caches. Scrutinize. Take one replica and examine it closely. Survey. Briefly examine several of the replicas. I'm gonna check the room for traps. Hidden caches, I think. Sneaky necrons. The cohort locates a few bars of the various materials from which the replicas are made in concealed cavities in the walls. However, their activity draws the attention of numerous Necron scarab constructs that transmit alert data into the new sphere, informing the tombs of other Necrons of the cohort's looting. So we've got a bit of Blackstone, but we've also alerted the Necrons a little bit more to our presence. That's alright. Just a little bit. Guys, the most health in the front. No cognition to start with, so we just got tech priests. Didn't even have a look around, did I? Uh, looks like we've got a scan terminal there. Let's just check before we do anything else. It looks like there's one there, but it's not active. So it's just that one, I think. Yeah. Okay. Get straight in there. Right, energy shield, so let's not bother the energy attack. Straight in there with fire. Give him a little poke, get some more cognition. Give him a good old wallop. Now we can use our upgraded Condendrite. Moving back forward. Make sure we get the opportunity attack when it comes. This is another one over here. So we'll start hacking away at this guy. Perfect. Get this glamour. Damage there. Can we reach that? Yep. These are. Oh, no, this servo skull. Here we go, another troop unit deployed. Hmm. Yeah, let's get the help mission. I don't think we're going to need a troop unit at this rate. Well, we do have some glowy doors. So we can't be too complacent. Another one bites the dust. I'll just push this guy forward because no one can see him. He's got that coggle Plutaris on. Get him straight in here and see what happens when we scan this terminal. Probably going to be a kill all enemies job, I'd imagine. Yeah. Okay, let's get a bit of cognition freedom on. Get my back gun to the noisy armor. I guess we should 
shooting with that as well just to see what the stats are. Oh, good. He's nearly a gunner. You have to remember we've had this mission for quite a while, so um, we're a bit overpowered for this one now, really. We've got to get rid. Is there any more cognition? No. So let's scan that enemy. Okay, so he doesn't even have any armor on. Brilliant. No more attacks we can do with this guy. Oh, I didn't see that one there, snap behind that terminal. The yeah, cognition post. Okay, let's get the enhancers on. Oh, too late. I could have actually taken him out. I just like being able to take this guy out anyway. Okay, ignition freedom. He's definitely gone up. Not doing too bad, cognition. Make a move on this guy around here. Ah, yes, no recognition left at the moment. Still got one guy to go. That one dead up there, that one's definitely dead up there. Those two are both dead. Hmm. Could try and take the enemy out, get this round done. But it's also tempting to try and take that terminal out, maybe. So that will knock our awakening down just a little bit. A little bit of cognition. Okay, brilliant. Is that good damage? No. Give me the extra armor, I'm not going to think it's going to make much difference. in there, just for kicks. This chamber contains a grand figurehead of the kind that might be found on ocean-going ships, but it depicts a stylized Necron warrior. It must be a relic of Lord Agrilek, Admiral of the Necron fleets. Advance. Pass through the chamber. It is on a direct route to the cohort's objective and time is crucial. Annihilate. Take the time to destroy the figurehead. Avoid. Give the chamber a wide berth. Its grandeur is not to be trusted. Hmm. I think today we're going to go with some destruction. I normally shy away of this option. Let's have a little crack. 
The cohort blows up the figurehead with a well-thrown volley of grenades. The figurehead is toppled and the necron shape at its tip breaks into many pieces. The sound reverberates through the tomb and alerts nearby necrons, but this is undoubtedly a righteous act. So the awakening that we saved by taking out that terminal has been negated there. Um, but we do have a bit of extra cognition. We're still only on the one. So we can keep pushing forward. This panel controls a heavy door leading to a treasure room beyond which is filled with cognition. If we can work out the right commands, then we can reap the rewards within. A container of some sort seemingly has raw binary seeding within. Clearly it is of Xenos origin. Sparks of data leak through the aged sealant used to contain the treasure within. So our awakening has gone up a bit more. Still not even on two. Will be now. But... God. The chamber ahead is covered by a gun turret on the ceiling, sporting twin gauss blasters. It could be defending the route to the artifact, forming a part of its security system. The turret is active and tracks ceaselessly across the chamber. Shun. Avoid the chamber entirely and find a way around. Shrewdness. Use stealth to approach the turret out of its line of sight. Or shoot out. Blast the turret into oblivion. Yeah. Let's blast the turret into oblivion. Oh no! The cohort hammers gunfire into the turret. Though it gets in a volley of return fire, it is destroyed and its components can be salvaged for later study and repurposing. So, one of our tech priests has taken a bit of damage, but we've got some blackstone. So, okay, so us, so well. Let's just get into this other diamond encounter. I don't think we need to worry about knocking our awakening down a bit. We're still only on two in a bit. You never know, there might be a, a scan terminal in here. There we go. Okay, so definitely got some cognition here. Oh yeah, we've got... Our gauge is a bit bigger now, isn't it? Was that the four, eight, nine? We've got nine now. Yeah. Uh, I don't want the Vanguard to go straight away. Nope. I want to give that troop buff on them first. Right, Minaris. We can reap a bit of havoc here, hopefully. Suspect empty behind the wall. Oh no. Oh, two guys coming behind us. That's cheeky. Whoop, sorry. Um, let's have a little check before I spend the points here. Yeah, I can definitely get two of them. Let's get that one as well. A little bit of extra damage. Make sure I am clipping both of them. I want to try and get rid of this sucker here. All that stabby acid damage. Brilliant. Happy with that. So I'm pushing up, getting the melee combat with this guy. And can we cheat? Oh, what shield did he have? I'm going to show us. No. Is that it's not going to do anything, he's got free physical. Okay, that's okay. That's absolutely okay. Where's the cognition? There's just one there, two here. Two there as well, but one of our guys can pick that up. So I've got another terminal there. Okay, bear that in mind. Servo skull, so let's do that before I forget. Did that work? Said cognition's full. Okay. 
Um, let's just carry on. Guys are dropping like flies. We should have done this mission yonks ago. We're going through them like a knife through bar. I don't really need the cognition. I've got loads of it. I was done with all his attacks, but we could still get into some melee combat here just for the opportunity. Town, so we don't want to heal him. Can we get that extra one? Oh, energy enhancers. Start going down towards this terminal, so let's send one this way. There's a glowy door there. So I'm half expecting that when we scan the other terminal, something might come out of it. So I'm going to leave this guy here. He's just going to chill for still for a bit. Oh, that's a cheeky shot. Still be able to see him. Oh, I think so. Let's risk it. I can shoot something else. There we go, we're good. Hope that did the business. Yeah, it has. Wonderful. Don't need them. Plenty of troops on the field. Okay, Vanguard guy. Oh, there you go. Ooh. 
Let's get rid of that body. I'm gonna bust this guy straight up to the terminal. He's got wicked movement on him. I mean, that's like just over half the map he's traversing now, I think. And here we go. It didn't exactly come out when I scanned the terminal, but it come out when I approached it. So I sort of called that one. to do that but every little extra counts right just leave him there get the opportunity attack I think I'm gonna waste that little bit of cognition I picked up with him by busting him out here. In fact, oh, yeah, this is... No. I oh, don't know. Let's use it all up with these guys. Reach him? No. Right. Reach him. Yes. Four. Guy, she's not likely to be making any. Oh, I don't know. Should I just get him in here? Yeah, he's down here. I've got cognition. Why not? Um, what I could do is make sure that this does some good stuff here. Let's get that counter column. Think about maybe healing him first. There we go. That didn't kill him. That's quite a shot, I must say. Normally don't want to heal this guy, but now we're at the end of this round, at the end of this tomb. We want everyone to be as healed up as I can get him, really. So I don't lose any blackstone in the end. Uh, more cognition we can steal. Yeah. Cool, should be pretty much all we need. Cool, that's some range. Go for it. Hey, drop again. Cohort reaches the chamber in which the trapezohedron artifact is held on a raised dais. Carefully they remove the artifact and transport it in a rad shielded container back towards the tomb entrance. Finally! Oh, 
hope I've done some more healing. Hey, we've got a gamma pistol. Woo! One to two damage. Oh well. Got that mission done and out of the way now. Oh, we've located the Zaragon Sector. The magnificence of a long vanished dynasty is perfectly preserved in this tomb, overwhelming in its aggressive grandeur. The halls are polished, grandois marvels adorned with the images of Necrons glowing down as if to ward off the eyes of the unworthy. This place is a monument to the power and arrogance of the interred. Every surface reflects the assumption of total authority. The dark opulence boils over into obscenity, as if the creator thought of itself not just as a king, but as a god. To a human, the wealth contained within this place is astonishing, but such concerns wither in the presence of whatever the tomb was built to aggrandize. It is impossible for such a monument of power to go unguarded. Hmm, sounds like a fancy place. No new canticles. Okay, well there we have it guys, a slightly shorter one. To be honest, that was a little bit of an easier one as well. But like I said, we've had some of these missions here from these guys for quite a long time now. I just want rid of them. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave us a like and subscribe if you did. Leaving us some comments would be great. Stay tuned for the next one. And in the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.